But you know, Travis Lee, sometimes you require a live rejoin even on a Thursday. <laughs> Special day. When we're about to bring on greatness. Yes. A man that I love. A man that you love, Travis. A I man do. we've embraced with. And I have. Many times. Many times. The great <laughs> LZ Granderson joins the show. <laughs> What's up, my friend? What, what's up, fellas? Now, what do you mean by embrace? Oh, LZ, we've we've embraced a lot. When I walk by, we're used to because now I do these downtown LA morning walks because I live down here like you used to. Basically, I think about nice. our moments. I think about our moments Uh-oh. as I cross the circa, the massage moment, Uh-oh. the time that you and Jorge oh, were in the car and you tried to get we us to come, you tried to get us Wait, to come upstairs. We need to clarify something. I wasn't involved with the massage. I just, <laughs> I just made sure you I arranged knew it. So what? Who could give? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I was not involved, and actually, neither I nor my alter ego, Mysterio, was Let's involved in massaging of, of Morales. Now, no, if you, you ever, ever if, you, if you ever move back and live at the Circa, I would like Alan Slee would have come with me yeah. one day, and yeah. we both get massaged. Yeah. Hey, man, brown bread. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. L- I don't know about that. That's between you and Slee. LZ, I can't speak on him. LZ, could I get <laughs> could I get a little clarity on something? Because I've heard everybody's side of the story, but LZ, um, when you guys <laughs> used to make your Starbucks runs oh, yes. in the yes. morning, okay. Yes. So from what I listen, let me just set tell up the as truth, best as LZ. I can. Let me set up as best I can. Gonna, I will tell the okay. truth. As supposedly, best I can. supposedly, LZ, there was a little bit of like, hey, I'll handle it this week. You handle it the next week, and it was just kind of a, a, a revolving door rotating. And At then the one- cheapskate got tired. <laughs> okay, I was trying right. to. I wanted to make this clean slated here. At one point, it sounds like <laughs> Trav decided to get out of the mix here. Can you tell us what 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 happened here with the app and and people spending money in the morning? I really think it was about his discomfort with Jack. You know, no, that's what that's I really not, think. Not if, if you get there, because occasionally Jack would hand over the coffee and he would touch your fingers ever so slightly. <laughs> LZ, I, I, I feel like I this was specific to you. <laughs> Jack and I never did anything other than order coffee, deliver coffee, and say thank so, you. So, Slee, there was a gentleman that worked at Starbucks mm-hmm. named Jack that we would see each morning. And he may have been more excited to see LZ1, thinking Chris, interestingly, too, because... Chris seems open-minded. Travis least. For sure. Because Travis was not open-minded. <laughs> he was, no, he wasn't open-minded, but his fingers were long enough to be touched. <laughs> but that's why he used to order Vinci's all the time. He thought a bigger cut would make it more difficult for Jack to actually touch him. But I would always ask you know. for a, a cardboard carrier just for safety's sake. <laughs> so we're never... We're actually, ne- I actually don't know, Slee, what was the ultimate breakdown between the Starbucks coffee runs. I think eventually Travis said something like, I have a kid in college, Starbucks <laughs> can, can make it's you about, without me, something kinda, like that. Kinda, that, that that's, that's, mo- that's mostly the, true. The saga continues. We're never going to get the full story Chris, here. Chris has Starbucks created a, a – um, archetype of me that is a You're cheapskate a that i don't spend money that i will not treat occasionally <laughs> that, that i am that, <laughs> as he puts it i hold i squeeze the quarter until the eagle screams travis my friend unlike jason whitlock i shall come to your defense <laughs> and i will say this <laughs> you have bought drinks many a time so if you are cheapskate you haven't been a cheapskate around me slee i hear it <laughs> Um, I will, I will. No, I'm with you, LZ. If, if LZ's in, I'm in. All right, so, LZ, are you in Texas right now? Have you gone to Detroit yet? Like, t- take me through your current location. All right, so, uh, Monday I was in L.A., actually. Uh, Thanks for calling. Day. Appreciate it that. An amazing. Well, it was, a, it, was a, it was a Hollywood thing that I know you know you're not into. Okay. So I didn't bother reaching out because I know you don't like that vibe. But I went out there for this big celebration for her uh, film Origin, as well as some of the other Oscar contenders, like the rest of the movie, et cetera. So I did that on Monday. Tuesday, I stopped in Phoenix because that's where my husband's working. So I'm just here hanging out. And then I will fly to Detroit for the football game this weekend. I just got off the phone with artists. 
And okay. I'm very, very excited because okay. I've been waiting for this moment since cool. the trade happened. So okay, so here here's the deal, and we'll we'll get to the trade in a second okay. because I've been trying to okay. just hammer the the Goff v McVeigh thing through it all. We we do the way that we used to do our picks on our old morning shows the same way we're doing them here on mm-hmm. the Travis Slee show, and Jorge is always the Niners are my four. You are always the Rams are my five, but the Lions are where your heart is. You are a Detroiter by birth. This was your team. So where are you on this whole thing? Like who is in the five hole and who is not? This is very interesting because this is why I wanted to call in, Travis. I have an announcement to make, people. Okay. For the first time in history, the Lions are my five and the Rams are my four. (laughs) I've never had the Rams as a four before when they played, but this is the first time I'm actually putting the Rams at four. The Lions are my five. You're absolutely correct. The, The Lions are my heart. I'm so excited and happy for the team. I feel bad for the things I said about Dan Campbell during his press conference when he talked about biting kneecaps. What do you mean? What do you mean? What did you say about Dan Campbell? Because he's going to come and he's going to bite your kneecaps and we're going to go for it on fourth and nine from the 46-yard line. What do you mean? I, I, I remember like just thinking, how do we fire Matt Patricia and got worse? <laughs> Turns out I was wrong. I like being wrong. That was awesome. This has been this has been a very but this has happened a lot sooner than I thought it would. Though I will say that I, I didn't think it would happen this quickly. LZ, I'm on. Listen, I, I love the storyline like everybody else does. Um, you know, obviously the golf situation and him getting a chance to play the Rams, but the fact that Detroit's in a playoff game. It's been a long time since they have. It's been a long time since they hosted a playoff game. Just from your perspective, what what's What's that atmosphere going to be like on Sunday? How, how I know that you know it, it's obviously the biggest thing going on by far, but what what should we be expecting on a Sunday night? Rams and the Lions, and the Lions are actually hosting a playoff game. It's going to be absolutely amazing. See, the thing that's really interesting about the trade, and 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 I know we're going to talk more in detail about who came on top and all that stuff a little bit later. But the key part about this trade is that while it's true Matthew Stafford got a Super Bowl, golf got fans. Interesting. <laughs> he got long-term fans who've been dying for any success. He delivers any measure of success. It would be on par with Matthew Stafford delivering the Super Bowl for a city that might have been indifferent about that team. There's that aspect of it, right? A lot of the city wanted the Oakland Raiders to be here. A lot of the city doesn't mm. don't want the Rams to be here. And so when you go and visit the, the, the SoFi, you can still occasionally have the team be overrun in terms of fans. Not occasionally. Business. Not occasionally. <laughs> frequently. That don't happen in Detroit. That won't happen in Detroit. And the thing that golf hasn't had experienced yet is unconditional love. And... Mm. He, if he delivers a win on Sunday, we're erecting a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be fumbling? <laughs> He'll be running from Aaron Donald. <laughs> so here, here's the thing, LZ, and you and I, we, we'd sit in here after a Rams game and kind of look at each other like, is this golf thing going to work out or not? And it was, it was such a roller coaster because you're winning a bunch of games. They did go to the Super Bowl. They were in the playoffs frequently. You're like, why, why do I feel like this about this guy when you're stacking the wins like we're talking about? And it's similar with Detroit, that they're having their first division title in a million years, their first home playoff game in a million years, et cetera, et cetera. But you hear Jared Goff say about, I'll never forget the chip that I have from my time in L.A. and what happened to me. And I just wonder how far inside Jared Goff's dome – that Sean McVay is and the way that he's going to be able to push his buttons. I know that there's a lot of other guys on the field, but it is McVay versus Goff psyche, isn't it? No, I don't think it is really. I really don't No, I really don't. I really, I really do not think that they're thinking like that. I think who's was on Jared Goff's mind is Aaron Donald. I think he knows that Aaron Donald's been watching him his entire career knows what he's capable of and what he's not capable of. And even if Aaron doesn't get to him, just knowing he's going to be close is going to put a measure of fear in golf's mind. That's who's going to be 
on guard. It won't be Sean McVay. I'm sure that, you know, he'll, he'll enjoy beating Sean if that happens. But over the course of the game, no, the I'm not talking about. It, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm not saying that as he's lining up under center that he's thinking about it's what's McVay thing. It. But coming into it, I'm going to prove this guy wrong. He doesn't know more than me. That I I am good enough to do this. I am that. You know, he broke up with me, and I'll show him. <laughs> One of those sort of situations. I, I don't. I don't think that's. I don't think mm. that's where it is, man. Because and the reason why is because he went out and won a Super Bowl. So even if Jer- even if no, Jared not for Goff McVay, wins- for Goff. No, 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 no. But I'm saying, but even if Jer- even if Jared Goff goes and wins a Super Bowl, he still didn't prove Sean McVay wrong because Sean got rid of him and won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So Sean's decision has already been justified, regardless of what Goff does going forward. But if Goff can win a Super Bowl, he'll feel better about himself. But Sean ain't thinking about that because Sean is already like, I've already proved my point. I immediately won a Super Bowl after the trade. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, you know what I mean. Like, like he'll be happy for golf. I'm sure if he eventually wins the Super Bowl or whatever. But regardless, no. he's been justified <laughs> because they yeah, got yeah. the chip. Yeah, <laughs> they it, got it, the chip. There's nothing left to prove on, on that part of it, or at least from a trade perspective. Yeah. LZ Granderson uh, joined us here on the Travis and Sleeva Show. LZ, I, I'm curious if the Lions are to win the game, what has to happen? If Detroit and I, of course, it's not an upset. I mean, they're they're. I think it's more just um, a bad draw. I I do think the Rams are a very dangerous team because of the players that they have. Because it is McVay. If Lions are your five, like you were talking about, what what what's the scenario look like for the Lions to win this game? Jared Goff is successful when he has time, and I do believe that he has endeared himself in the city, but also with the team. You know, even those stretches where Jared Goff didn't look very good or whether, or better yet, when Jared Goff looked like the Jared Goff in the Rams, he <laughs> 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 they got rid of him. Even during that, his guys were still with him. You know, they still supported him. When he got sacked, they picked him up. They believe in him. And I do believe there's an element of less win this for Goff that's going to help him, particularly on their offensive line, because – they are dangerous. The Rams are extremely dangerous in the pass rush, and they know that the only way they win is by keeping Jared Goff secure, and I think that's the key, watching what happens in the trenches, not just with Aaron Donald, but with everyone. If they put pressure on Jared Goff, the Lions won't win. So I do believe that the Detroit Lions are going to try to win this for Goff, and that may give them a little extra push in terms of that offensive line that they need to keep him protected and upright. Yeah, That's the key. That, LZ, that was, was going to be my follow-up that is this something that it, it does kind of galvanize the troops. Hey, you know what? We are fighting for Jared Goff. He is going up against just like the same thing of if this was a game against the Seahawks or the Eagles against the Lions, there aren't as many storylines. But the fact that right. he's got his teammates, who Goff has obviously been an integral part of getting them up to this point, if this is personal to Jared Goff, who he's already said publicly that there is a chip on his shoulder, how much more personal does it get for the rest of those Lions players? I, I think that's going to be fascinating how it plays out. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and as I said, there's a vibe of win this for Goff, I think, on the team in this situation because of the exit. And not just the exit, but the fact that, as I mentioned before, the Rams were immediately successful right. when they made the trade. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's, I don't care what you say about the draft picks afterwards and no. the rookies and, and all of that. The fact of the matter they is, want a chip. is that they want to chip as soon as they got rid of golf. No matter – Sean McVay and the Rams were right, period. The question is, right. are they going to be more right – or equally right, right? It's 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 it's, it's this. Can I like double down? Like I tried to tell you guys, mm-hmm. you know, is it is it one of those or is it something else? Very quickly, LZ, before we let you go, do you know what you're going to write yet? Do you have any idea? I'm going to write from my heart because I am legitimately torn. As I told you, I was just texting with with artists. I text with Les probably every week. Mm-hmm. I love the Rams and I love Detroit, and so I'm going to write about not just my feelings about it, but also Detroiters, because when Stafford won the chip, a lot of people don't know that, but a lot of Detroiters embrace that championship as well because we love Matthew Stafford. Mm. And so I'll be, it'll be interesting to see if he's booed. It'll be interesting to see if the Rams win, how the crowd responds. It'll be interesting to see if golf doesn't play well, how the crowd responds. Mm, that's but the one. I'm going to be... I'm going to be writing from a personal perspective of someone who really legitimately loves both teams and is trying to decide uh, between the two. 
All right, so next time you come to town, even if it's something you think I don't like, you're going to need to call me, and we're going to need to go have uh, some cocktails, and I will pay just to prove my point it's yet again. It's not guaranteed that he will pay. It's not guaranteed. We should, we should live stream it paying for that. You know, those <laughs> we'll blur out the, the numbers on my credit card, oh, but my wallet. we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Good talking with you, my friend. Thank you, LZ. Thank you guys so much. It's been awesome talking to you guys. I miss you very, very much. Right, it's good to hear your voice. Good.